where summertime brings picnics, cookouts and potlucks. But the bright sunshine and warmer temperatures also bring an increased risk to our health. Here to tell us about how to stay healthy and safe by following sun and food safety regulations, Dr. Benjamin Chan from the New Hampshire Department of Health and Human Services, the state epidemiologist. So Dr. Chan, uh, talk, to, talk to us initially here about some of the risks that people face uh, from sun exposure. Yeah, um, so the ultraviolet light from sun exposure or UV light uh, poses a risk to the skin. It causes skin damage, it can cause sunburns, it, it promotes um, uh, premature aging of the skin. And we know that uh, this damage to the skin can lead to um, the development of skin cancer in the future. Now there's various different types of skin cancers, some are more treatable than others. The one we primarily worry about or often worry about is melanoma. Melanoma can be more serious, it can spread to other parts of the body and cause significant disease. Uh, it's one of the more common uh, types of cancer in New Hampshire and we know that tanning and sun exposure and ultraviolet light contributes to the development of these types of cancers. Now, of course we know uh, sunscreen is a big uh, yes on days like that but what are yes. some steps that people can take to protect themselves? So the most important risk factor to preventing um, uh, skin cancer is preventing uh, sunburn, sun exposure. We actually recommend people don't use artificial tanning booths because of that. Uh, but when people are outside, we recommend they avoid the midday hours when the sun and UV exposure is the strongest. As you mentioned, they should wear um, sunscreen. We recommend an SPF of 15 or greater. Uh, that needs to be reapplied every couple hours or sooner if there's um, if somebody goes swimming or sweating a lot. And then generally, uh, it's a good idea to wear long, loose-fitting clothing to cover the skin, hats to cover the head and the neck, and then sunglasses to protect the eyes. Of course, seeing a lot of kids these days in the uh, swimsuit protection up yes. top as well, which is big. Of course, uh, warmer weather, it's cookout season. What are some tips for uh, food handling that people, uh, some mistakes too that people often make in terms when, when they're having that food out in terms of meats and other products out there? Yeah, so foodborne illnesses can occur any time of the year, but the warmer weather in the summer with cookouts and picnics present um, an additional risk. And there are various organisms that can cause foodborne illnesses, viruses, bacteria, parasites, and food can become contaminated at multiple different points um, in, in the handling of it. But if food is left out, it allows the bacteria that might be there to grow and reproduce, and those bacteria can then produce toxins that can cause illness. Uh, so, so there are some steps that people should take. Uh, the CDC estimates that one out of every six people in the U.S. every year come down with some foodborne illness. Mm -hmm. And, and prevention-wise, what can we do? Uh, when should we be throwing out stuff that's been sitting out there for most of the day? Yeah, so, so most of the time, uh, foodborne illnesses can be prevented if food is handled and stored properly. Uh, food should always be stored. Perishable food should always be stored at cold temperatures less than 40 degrees Fahrenheit. If there are people are transporting it, it should be transported in insulated coolers um, with ice packs or other frozen food to keep the food cold. And then food should never sit out for more than a couple hours. And actually, in, during the summer months, when it's hotter, when it's 80, 90, or, or greater outside, food should never sit out for more than an hour. All right. The doctor is in. Dr. Benjamin Chan, thank you for your time. My pleasure. Much thank you. Appreciate it. And we'll be right back.